Hello and welcome to this quick video tutorial on using the password reset tool here at SMU. Before we get started actually showing you the password reset tool itself, I'd like to just tell you very quickly about how to create a secure password. And of course, a password isn't really any good if you can't remember it and can't use it. So uh, make sure to make a password that's easy for you and you only to remember, but it is hard for other people to guess. And uh, something that makes that easier is to make a long password. And sometimes I know that it can be pretty difficult to come up with something long enough for the password requirements, but uh, one thing that's become pretty popular is a passphrase. So for example, you could take four or five words. They could uh, make some sense together or absolutely no sense together and put those all together and replace some of the letters with numbers or with symbols and then you've created a password fairly quickly and easily. And uh, so speaking of the password length and those kinds of requirements, let's go ahead and I'll show you the actual requirements for an SMU password. First off, the minimum length is eight characters, not too long, and we always recommend to make that password longer or as long as possible, but the minimum that you have to have is eight characters and that password must contain three out of these four items I have up on the screen. So uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers, as well as uh, non-alphanumeric symbols like the pound sign, exclamation points, things like that. Also, another requirement is that the password cannot contain your name. That goes for your entire name, as well as just your first name or your last name. Um, that, of course, can be easily guessed if somebody really wanted to get into your account specifically. So, of course, we do not um, accept those as legitimate passwords. And also, the last requirement here, I, uh, you cannot reuse the 10 previous passwords that you have used. Now, I know this sounds like a pain, but it's the most secure way to uh, keep passwords current as well as uh, keep them always unique because if uh, somebody uses the same password over and over even if you are prompted to change it every six months like we do here at SMU people can more easily figure out the password especially if you've had it for let's say 10-15 years so uh, always make sure that it's different each time and so now you know some of the basic requirements for an SMU password and so let me show you the URL that you can go to anywhere that you currently are to reset your password and that is pwreset.smu.edu. So what you can do is log into this address from anywhere and go ahead and select one of the uh, reset options which we'll go over here in a bit and then reset your password and here is how to do that. So here we are at the actual password reset tool and that is again at pwreset.smu.edu and here we have four options that we can use to actually use this reset tool. The first one is probably the most important because this is something that you'll want to do if you haven't done it before right after you view this video go out and do this um, you'll need to actually enroll in the tool in order to use it in the future and so go ahead and click on enroll here and on the page that shows up go ahead and type in your ID number and then your password and then question one two and three go ahead and select whatever questions you want to answer here and then you type in the answers alright and so once you've selected those questions and the answers go ahead and click on next and that will enroll you in the reset tool but uh, let me go ahead and click cancel here because I want to show you what that allows you to do. Once you've created these questions, you'll go ahead and click on reset right here. And then you'll enter your SMU ID and click next. Once you enter your ID number and click next, it will then answer or ask rather the questions that you've created and then you will answer them and that will allow you to change your password. This is the option that you will use if you have completely forgotten your password, you don't know what it is and you'll need to go through here and enter your ID number then answer the questions you've created and then it will allow you to create a brand new password. But let me click on cancel here to take you to the other two options. 
The other two include unlock, which is used if you know your password, you know it's correct, but for some reason your account just isn't letting you log in. A common reason for this is that maybe you've just changed your password and you have that password saved perhaps on your cell phone to connect to Prunanet or some other service like SMU email. So if you do have the old password still saved on any other device, if it tries to log in too many times in a period of time, it will lock out your account as a security measure. So you will have to come here to the password reset tool and unlock um, your account. And you'll do that by uh, answering your security questions as well. Then the fourth option is the change option. This one is the easiest one to use, and that is if you already know your current password, but you would like to update it. So let's say here at SMU, we change our passwords every six months, and you have about a week left on this password, and you want to kind of stay ahead of the curve and not get locked out of your account. So you can come to pwreset.smu.edu at any time and click on change, and then enter your SMU ID number, then click next and then it will have you type in your old password that you know and then you will have to create a new password and again remember you have to make it a different password from the one that you're currently using so you'll enter the old one enter the new one twice to confirm click next and then your password is updated simple as that and of course let me click cancel here just to show you the home page again up here at the very top if you ever need assistance with this reset tool or for some reason uh, you know you've enrolled but it's not working for you or your password that you're trying to use isn't working right for you um, feel free to call the help desk at 214-768-4357 and the help desk representatives will be happy to help you out and make sure you have a password that will work for you. That's all for this quick tutorial. I hope this has helped you out and uh, have a great one. Thanks.